bless the royal prince, Edward VIII, with long and happy years to reign over us. God save the king. It's one of those stories we thought we knew all about, but maybe didn't. Here's how it used to go. American divorcee Wallace Warfield Simpson, a woman of high ambition and low morals, seduces Edward, Prince of Wales, heir to the British throne, who in the months between being proclaimed king and being crowned, gives it all up for her. Edward VIII's abdication speech may be the most romantic resignation letter of all time. I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. The greatest love story of the 20th century. 75 years later, history is being rewritten. Sort of. First by Madonna in her latest attempt at filmmaking called W.E. for Wallace and Edward. Wallace, what's wrong? Lunch with your brother and sister-in-law. They are rather dull, aren't they? They'll never accept me. For Madonna, it's one of history's great romances that's never been told properly from Wallace Simpson's point of view. I wanted to understand what it was about her, what she possessed, what special qualities she had that would make a man give up the most powerful position in the world. I was trying to understand the essence of their relationship and, and is there any such thing as the greatest romance? It's Wallace Simpson as romantic heroine. Let's stop all this talk about marriage. It frightens me and I can't see any good coming of it. Why? Your family will never stand for it. The Prime Minister won't stand for it. Then I'll give up the throne. And I will be the most despised woman in the world. I just couldn't believe that any one woman could be all the awful things that Wallace was accused of being. And there's another rewrite of history about that woman in this new book by Anne Seba. Nazi whore, prostitute, spy, maybe some, not all, wasn't possible. So Anne Seba dug deep into the historical record and beyond. Amazingly, she says she found a packet of letters never seen publicly before, written by Wallace Simpson to, of all people, Ernest Simpson, the estranged husband she was divorcing at the time, to clear the way for her to marry Edward. Letters that revealed a troubled, even tortured woman with an enduring affection for the man she was dumping. Oh dear. Wasn't life lovely, sweet, and simple? She writes. And later, when she was already married to Edward... Wherever you are, you can be sure that never a day goes by without some hours thought of you and for you. And again in my Eden prayers at night. With love, Wallace. It was extraordinary. From the moment I started the first lesson, I realized this was dynamite. Isn't it remarkable, though, that here she was in what, the, what was perceived at the time and since to be this hot and heavy relationship with Edward, the future king, yet at the same time she was still professing affections for and, and des describing herself as kind of entrapped in that relationship to the man from whom she was seeking a divorce. Well, that's exactly what these letters show, that her emotional connection to Ernest really never died. In this version of events, Wallace may have been a social climber, insinuating herself into Edward's high-flying, high-society world, but the complication of marriage was never the plan. In fact, she tried to get out of it. That's when the inexorability of the situation struck her because the king... You're saying she wanted to call it off. Yes, she wanted to call it off and he wouldn't let her. He responded by threatening suicide. The British government at the time, headed by Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin, responded too. It launched what can only be called a smear campaign directed at Simpson dismissing her offer to call off the marriage as a publicity stunt. In the British Records Office, historian Susan Williams has found the evidence. A telegram from Baldwin to the other British Commonwealth Prime Ministers telling them not to be fooled by Simpson. So he sends off this telegram saying basically what she's saying is a lie. 
he's saying that you can't trust Mrs. Simpson and she is exactly what I've, I've it has been assumed that she is, which is um, a gold digger, digger, ambitious and just wants to be queen. In fact, the government may have been afraid that public opinion was swinging in favor of the marriage. And the British political establishment was deeply suspicious of Edward, that he was emotionally unfit for the job and that he might actually be sympathetic to the rise of fascism in Europe. The reaction to the Simpson affair, this theory goes, was just an excuse to swap Edward for his more user-friendly brother, who became George VI, now considered to have been a very successful wartime king. One of the currently held views is that, uh, distasteful though she was seen to be at the time, that in fact she, at a very critical time in history, saved Britain from having the wrong king uh, by, by creating the necessity for him to, to abdicate crisis though it was. I think there's a lot of truth in that view. I, I go with Noel Coward on that one. He said there should be a statue to Wallace Simpson in every British town. <laughs> Not only statues never happened. Edward and Wallace themselves were barred from England after their marriage, living a life ostracized and in exile. When Edward wanted to bring Wallace back to England, the records office contains a revealing letter from his brother, King George, in his own hand, saying that such a visit would be impossible. But it has been 75 years since the events that shook an empire. Is it time to give Wallace Simpson a break? Is it your intention to rehabilitate her reputation or just to understand that this was a little more complicated than was thought at the time? I'm not trying to rehabilitate her reputation at all. I think there's a lot to criticize her for. She was manipulative and she was an adventurous, if you like, but I do think she needs to be understood. You may not like her anymore at the end of it, but she deserves to be understood. <laughs>